Which camera do I look into? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Scramble Game Show. Today, we will have a uh, demonstration of a few uh, games we call the Solitaire Scramble, because the Scramble games can be played by yourself uh, as an uh, interesting brain-stimulating game and uh, fairly challenging and then it's also very entertaining. Uh, depending on the time we have, we'll play a couple of games today. The first game uh, will be uh, the uh, name Chinese uh, Pagoda, uh, just because the cards are laid out in the shape of a pagoda. And it's a very simple game. Uh, you can lay down 10 tiles of cards, each of 10 cards up to 12 cards, depending on how the skill is. Of course, uh, more cards actually harder uh, in terms of uh, finishing the game or complete the game. Say, in this case, we now have laid down 10 uh, stacks of cards uh, in a padoga, a padoga shape. And there's also four uh, resources car, resource card for helping uh, the game. Now, the uh, entire purpose of this game is when you uh, opening these um, uh, cards on top and you are forming words. When the words are formed, you put away. And the resource card is, is an auxiliary card to help you in, in that process. When you get stuck and no more words you can make, then you uh, end the game. Uh, of, obviously, uh, there is some uh, strategy in, in this game. Um, you could uh, think ahead what letters are already being used, or you can uh, uh, plan sort of a, uh, on the distribution of uh, letters. So you could use all the cards and make as many words as possible. And of course, when you're really good at it, you can make uh, uh, words that even have uh, more points because uh, the scramble cards have these value points and the bonuses that you could take advantage of. So there's a variety of things that you could uh, sort of enhance the game's uh, uh, entertainment value as well as uh, you know, the brain stimulating value. Okay? So at this point, let's uh, uh, start the game and, and show how it works. Here you have one, two, three, up to ten stacks. Uh, for this first game, we uh, put the ten cards each. Uh, remember the whole cards, uh, the deck, the whole deck is 136 cards. So if you have ten, that's hundred. So you left with 36 cards as your auxiliary cards. So the ratio is pretty good. Chances are you will be able to uh, uh, go through this whole stack and then make uh, all the words. But if you uh, think you're good at, you know, at this game and you want to increase the challenge, then you make it 11. So that will be 110. And then you will be left with 26 cards uh, as a resource card. And uh, that would make it a little harder. And if you still think you can do better, you can make 12 cards each deck. Okay, and that would be 120. Okay, and you're left with only 16 cards as a, as a resource card. Okay, so that's very simple. Now, for the 10, uh, we start uh, with 10 cards uh, and we begin. Okay, now I will open uh, each card top just to uh, show. Uh, because we are on camera, I'm a little bit uh, slow. Uh, at uh, your leisure, of course, you can you know, open pretty fast and you don't have to make this thing sort of nice and neat exactly uh, in that shape. Uh, you could really uh, you know, make the pile somewhat uh, loose. Okay? Now, oh, here's a wild card. That's, oh, wow, double wild card. Didn't shovel well, pretty. Now, this situation now is basically you have 10 and 4 resource cards. I did not mention the rule how this game is, is uh, conducted yet because uh, I think it's easier to do that when the cards are open. The resources card is, uh, has to be used one card at a time in forming the words. In other words, when you form a word, you must pick one of these cards in that word. Okay? 
and that's why uh, seemingly you have so many resource cards, but you have to be careful how you use this. Now, for example, right now, uh, you see you have two variables here. You, ha uh, you have a wild. A wild certainly is great, but let's say save the wild for later, okay? Uh, as you go on, may get stuck. Wild is really helpful. Let's say we want to use A in here to form a word. Now, you can look at the letters here, okay? A very quick one, say, oh, we can make a word rain, R-A-I-N. Uh, That's certainly one word. And since T is there, oh, we can do train, T-R-A-I-N, okay? Um, oh, S is there, strain, S-T-R-A-I-N. Actually, this is randomly shuffled. I didn't even do this, but it's turned out to be a very interesting uh, first set. Uh, obviously, uh, you can do strain as the longest word, but sometimes, strategically, you want to keep the S. Uh, S is very you know, um, uh, useful in uh, making words, okay, uh, at the end, adding S and so on, okay? So, uh, let's just say we take strain, okay? S, T, R, A, I, N. So that is one word we'll put on the side, okay? Later on, we can compute the points uh, that strain gets, okay? Now, now you could Reopen this second layer, okay? That cards are being used, okay? S, and the replenish another card here. Now, now you notice here, this 10 cards only has uh, one vowel A, and the resource card has one vowel O, so we still save. I mean, generally, as long as you have a vowel, uh, you should be able to make a word, okay? If you run out of vowel in anywhere, then you'll be in trouble. Of course, wild card can be a vowel, so we are in a pretty good shape in this, this game, okay? All right, now you can either use S or O to make another word, okay? Let's say we, we uh, use S, since we have two S here, all right? Now, S, okay, simple one could be ASK, ask, okay? That certainly uh, is, a, is a very simple uh, three-letter word. Or you can say mask, M-A-S-K, mask, okay? And uh, what else? Uh, you know, this is you know, a lot of, oh, there's another E I didn't notice. Actually, there are two vowels, so um, we, can, uh, we can do that, okay? Uh, what else? Uh, for example, we can do R. A S H rash. Okay, so there's enough for you to think about, but again, the way to play this game is think ahead. Letters already being used. What letters might be? Okay, in order to to appreciate the scrambled cards, you should get the deck and understand the distribution of the the um, alphabets. For example, there are ten A's and two B's and four C's and so on. Uh, the distribution. Uh, is worked out uh, because uh, you know the letters that forming words has certain you know statistical uh, you know poss probabilities. Okay, since K is typically a, a difficult letter to use up. Okay, so I would in my case in this case I would say let's do mask M A S K. Okay, get rid of the K. All right. Now. If that's the case, we'll put this up again. R, D, and H. Ooh, another H. Okay, E. Okay, so we'll continue on this process. Now we have two E's and O, so vowel wise, we're pretty good. We have three H. So you would think that we should, you know, get rid of at least one H. So let's say H, S, H, E, she, is certainly is a, a good um, uh, you know, three-letter word for younger kids. Uh, sometimes you know, three-letter word is very key to, to get the game going. But uh, we can do S, H, E, shed, okay? Uh, or S, H, 
R-E-D shred, okay? Um, that's probably not bad. Let's say, you know, keep things going. S-H-R-E-D. Remember, you must use at least one car from the resource deck, okay? Now, the E coming up, ooh, T coming up, R coming up. O, oh boy, double O, double E. Now we got a little more vowel than we need, so we could think about uh, you know, using some of them. For example, uh, you know, we could do root, R-O-O-T, get rid of double O. Uh, but you may not want to get rid of all the O's, or you, you got one, uh, two E's here, you may want to use E-N-O, uh, see whether you can uh, uh, do E-N-O. For example, just look at this distribution of cards. If I say do other, O-T-H-E-R, I get rid of the one H, and one O, one E, one you know, R. There's a two R's here, two E's here, two H here, two O's here. That seems to be very uh, uh, sort of uh, optimum to do. Let's do that. O, T, all right, let's use this H because this stack is lower. Doesn't really matter uh, because since we don't really know what the cards are behind, let's say we use this R, O, T, H, E, R, other. Okay, now, continue on, T, C, A, R, C, ooh, double C, now T, double T, double R, double C, with O and E and A, okay, mm. now, we still haven't used the vowel, okay? Now, the reason I say vowels is because when you get to stuck in the situation, vowel is really great. I mean, the uh, wild, I'm sorry, wild is very great. Uh, but if from counting points point of view, sometimes you want to use the wild strategically when you have high points because wilds doubles give you the bonuses, okay? Um, uh, for new you know, audience uh, of this show, you probably don't know what the bonus means, but in scramble cards, the bonus acts on the letters, okay? Uh, the vowel are typically, the whole word is doubled or tripled and so on. Whereas vowels, uh, such as A, you have three R, means the right side of the letter of A, that value point is multiplied by three as your bonus. So you, again, you know, should look at this. For instance, in this case, uh, if I do cat, C-A-T, okay, the A was multiplied by right side, which is T, is one point times three. That's not as good as, as uh, C on the other side, on the right side, okay? So if I can say T-A-C uh, something, right? Tack, well, that's much better from point, uh, counting points, point point of view, all right? So we need to think about whether we want to use O or T into this, and, and then let's say we use T because we've got double T. Uh, we want to use C, double C, okay? Um, so what about, um, if I do uh, teach, right? T, E, A, C, H. Now, as I explained, uh, the A has a C on the right side, which take advantage of the three times right side as bonus. So teach is a pretty good, uh, uh, you know, combination there. All right, so we got teach. Now, one more, and E. And S and E. One more resource card. I. Oh, now we got really good. Uh, uh, I. Two E's. I O. So vowels and vowels. So we are really uh, pretty flexible here. Okay. Now, 
whether we want to use a wild. In this case, maybe we try to use one wild to see whether uh, we can get you know, a higher point because Y is six points, L is three points. And um, let's just, for example, if, if we uh, make a simple word as uh, uh, relay, R-E-L-A-Y, okay? Now, that wild, uh, wild card uh, triples the score and relay use the while and L, L is three points, Y is six points, which gives you a pretty good uh, uh, score. And since you have double R, and that's good. Let's do that, okay? This out of my head, I say that sounds pretty good. R E relay L, okay? And use one of the wild, let's say use this one, which is two W means the score uh, times two is your bonus. R-E-L-A-Y, okay, all right. Um, now, actually, we might be able to make longer words, but no, for demonstration, let's just you know, keep this thing going. Uh, while you play as a solitaire game, you really can uh, use your brain to think about it. You don't have to rush yourself. The whole idea of solitaire game is uh, when you have time and you want to entertain yourself, okay? Now, this is a resource. Okay, now the situation is uh, quite interesting. Again, two C's, two N's, two E's, and Q and V, they are high points, but they also are difficult letters to use, particularly the Q. Without a U, you cannot do it. So you almost have to you know, keep the wild with Q just in case the U doesn't show and you want to get rid of Q. Uh, that's how you do it, okay? Now, uh, at this point, see whether we can get rid of uh, uh, V uh, and the C. Hmm. V and the C is not easy because you do voice or vice or some, um, but if you want to use just one E, um, uh, v, I, C, T, O, R, Y, okay? Well, the rule was to only use one letter uh, as resource card to make the words. Now, as we explained in the beginning or showed in the beginning, if the deck is more than 10, 11, 12, then you have less resource card, okay? So definitely you, you have to only, uh, you only use one card at a time uh, as a re resource card. But in the 10, actually you have a quite a bit of resource card. You could relax the rule, say, well, I can use more than one resource card to help uh, making the words or form longer words. But let's stick to our original rule that is one letter, okay, of the resource card. Now, let's say, hmm, if you want to use V, I can say uh, V, E, S, T, vest, okay? Uh, that's probably a good word to get rid of a E, which is, you know, double, and um, V, S, oh, we didn't use the C, but okay, let's wait till next time to do the C, okay? O, G, now the car, D, all right. Now, now we have double O, we have E and I, okay? Uh, let's see whether we can do Let's say um, if we want to do the C, uh, and we can do C O R N is corn. C O R N is corn. Ner E R corner. Oh boy, it would be nice to be able to use just one D and say cornered, but we only have one E. Instead of two, right? Okay, what other possibilities? As uh, we could uh, 
you know, simply say um, C O R D chord, simply it's okay. Uh, chord, only one E, otherwise, you can say record. Uh, re oh, yeah, we could do that. R E C O. Oh, only one R now this time. Nope. Mm. Okay. So, if if you uh, uh, mm. let's say just to get things going. Okay. Uh, we will do C O uh, either chord uh, or coded. Let's say do coded. Okay. E D. Okay, code it. Uh, for example, you know, a, a information is coded information, uh, and code in our days uh, we use in every day. You need to have your password, which is a code. All right, L. Ah, now it's interesting. We have Q and U now. Okay. Uh huh. Q and U. How do you do a word and using one of this, maybe wild or something? Q U. Uh, too bad there's no other vowel in here. Otherwise, you, there's a lot of words with Q U, say quail uh, or equal or things that yeah. That that Q is very limited word, so. Uh, if we cannot do it this time, we can save it. Since Q U is here, uh, we can do some other things and uh, save the letters. For example, save the L with Q U because quiet, guilt, and things like that it may do, and we have two L's anyway. Okay, so uh, try to use uh, a word. Uh, let's say, let's say we just use the O and get rid of the C. Q and C doesn't go well too, too well anyway, so we do corn, okay, or even corny, but uh, corn, let's say do corn, keep the Y for the next round, let's see what it comes up, okay, now, I, U, oh, another U, L, okay, now, uh, well, since you have a 3L, uh, now we can do quill. Isn't it? Q, U. Okay. Uh, I, L, L, or A, I, L, either way. But I think since we have so many L's, perhaps it's good to use 2L. I hope I spelled correctly. All right. And by the way, uh, I created these games, but doesn't mean I know all the words. And in fact, sometimes I really uh, have to always ask my wife, my kids, how to spell this word, how to spell that word. This is uh, okay. All right, now we have many vowels, two A's, two E's, and I. So that is certainly. Uh, uh, something we need to use more vowels to make words. Uh, now you have N, Y, G. Hmm. Okay, let's say, since we have I here and N, G, let's say we do something with I, N, G. And <clears throat> can we uh, uh, do something, uh, let's say E, A, T, I, N, G, eating. That certainly is okay, right? And we got rid of one E, one A, and T, I, and G. Okay, let's say we do that. E, A, T, I, N, G. Okay? Now, all along we have not focused on the bonus, uh, how to use the vowels uh, sort of strategically, but you could figure that out when you start playing this. Uh, oh, this A has three L, we should use this A rather than the other A, and so on, uh, depending on the words you make. Now, we 
pretty much come to the end, but you pretty much also probably understand how this game uh, is played until all the decks, okay, to the last uh, uh, row, and it's all finished, and then you count all the words that, uh, you know, here I didn't put uh, correctly, really you should do this way, so each word separately, so later on you can take the uh, words and, and count them out and say, wow, I scored 500 points or 700 points, okay? Now, uh, right now, uh, you have P coming up, that's the first time, uh, perhaps, uh, you know, you could uh, uh, use the PH or uh, PL. Yeah. Uh, U is uh, now, since Q is used up, so you can probably use uh, PUSH, let's say. Push. Okay? Just for quick push. All right, A, Z, oh, Z come up, ah, B. Now, um, this Z is a trouble word, you know. Sometimes uh, it's hard to get rid of. That's why it's 13 points. Now, quickly, let's do lazy because <laughs> this Z, and we have a lot of A's on the table. Okay, unless you can do longer than lazy? Probably not. Okay, we do lazy. All right. Now, E. Oh, another E. S. F. Uh huh. Okay. Now, um, there are so many E's, uh, three E's. So, we've got a, you know, four E's actually. Wow, four E's and A. So, we better do. Uh, double vowel word. For example, let's say we can do uh, uh, beast. Okay, B E A S T. Get rid of both E and A. All right, B and E and A S and a T. Okay, that's beast. Now open up, open up. Now another strategic point. Sometimes. Uh, uh, we should uh, pay attention to. You try to keep this dex more even. For example, this one is the last one now. If you use this one up, what happened? You have one less card to be played with. So that's another strategic point. At this point, you can see, oh, we can do you know, a fox and so on, x can be get rid of it and so forth. So the whole idea is making uh, more words, longer words, and uh, higher point words, and it's very entertaining to play by yourself, okay? I hope uh, I have explained this game uh, adequately to, uh, to the audience. Um, I think uh, we will end at this point, and uh, we'll you know, continue with another game, okay? And this uh, type of a, a solitaire game, uh, in the book at least, uh, we describe uh, seven or eight different ways to play uh, solitaire games. And there's more to come yet, okay? And this whole deck of cards can play more than 20-some uh, games. Yeah. All right. Uh, today, uh, we demonstrated a, a solitaire scramble. Uh, scramble game has uh, more than 20 games to play. So uh, keep tuned in this show. We'll have more to offer you. Thank you. Welcome to Scramble Game Show. Uh, we will do another uh, scramble, uh, solitaire scramble demonstration. Uh, as we explained in the past, the scramble game um, is very interesting in itself because uh, uh, it stimulates your brain and uh, get people sort of uh, all 
excited and you can work in groups, you can work as uh, uh, teams, and uh, you can play in school, you can play in, in family, and uh, traveling and so on. So the scramble games are fairly uh, uh, well, you know.